today on Be Something Wonderful, how ask formations can change your life overnight. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, good morning and welcome back to the studios of Be Something Wonderful here in Las Vegas. Big video for you today. I heard from a client that I met with about two weeks ago now. And her questions were like questions that all of us have when we're consciously creating, consciously imagining, affirming and assuming our desired life. Assuming and imagining and affirming that we're already that person we desire to be. You look out there at the conditions, at 3D reality, and you ask those questions, why hasn't my life changed? Why are conditions getting worse? Why is reality hot and cold? But remember, it's those questions that you create, perceive, receive more proof and evidence that your life hasn't changed, that conditions are getting worse and that reality is hot and cold. It's those, remember, you're looking out there as reality. You're looking out there as those questions. You're not looking at some objective reality and then coming to that conclusion. You're already there and then perceiving and, and receiving and reflecting and manifesting what those conclusions are. Why hasn't my life changed? That comes from an assumption that my life hasn't changed. Why are conditions come, getting worse? That comes from an assumption that conditions are getting worse. Why is reality hot and cold? That comes from an assumption that reality is hot and cold. My specific person is hot and cold. A family member is hot and cold. Someone at work or a colleague or reality itself. Remember, ask for proof and evidence of your wish not fulfilled and you get it. Tell the story of non-fulfillment and you live it. You create it all, right? Remember this whole idea, that this, whole, that this whole state of feeling unfulfilled, of looking out there and saying nothing has happened yet, that creates that state of being ungrateful and feeling uncertain, right? That, that state of uncertainty, that state of ungratefulness, where I, 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 how can I feel grateful? I don't have what I want yet. And, and I don't know if I'm going to get it. You're telling that story. You're at, you're creating that proof. You're telling that story that narrows and limits your awareness and perception of reality. You see this, so you can't see what is already there. It's all already there. So let's hit it like we never have before. Argue for your limitations and sure enough, they're yours. Richard Bach and illusions. Um, the Adventures of a Reluctant Messiah. This is a great book, but this is my favorite quote from that book, right? T tell that story of non-fulfillment and it's yours, right? Uh, ask, ask about limitations. Ask why something hasn't changed. Ask why nothing is working out for you and that will be your experience. So, but there is good news in all of this. And this is why I'm gonna talk about the idea of ask formations. Ask formations are not new, right? But instead of asking why I am not that person I want to be yet, you ask why is my life so amazing? Why, uh, why is the world chasing me and loving me? Why am I so wealthy and healthy and wise? That, that ask formations create that reality. Do you see it? Ask for proof and evidence that your wishes and desires are fulfilled and you get it. Tell the story of fulfillment and you live it. Hear, it. hear that again, right? Ask for proof and evidence that your wishes are fulfilled and you get it. Ask, tell the story of fulfillment and you live it. Argue for your unlimitedness and sure enough, it's yours, right? That's why ask formations can be so insanely powerful. So let's unpack this a little bit more. So why hasn't my life changed? That question creates a life that hasn't changed and un, where you're feeling unfulfilled, ungrateful, uncertain about what, what is going to happen in your life, that, that you can even have what you want or be that person you want to be. Instead, ask, use an ask formation, right, which are powerful. Why is my life so amazing? Why is my life getting better and better? Why are conditions always unfolding perfectly? Why is it always working out for me? Do you see it? These ask, from, ask formations 
create a place or a space in your awareness that now must be filled or fulfilled with evidence and proof of fulfillment. Do you see it? Your amazing life, things getting better and better, everything always working out for you, unfolding perfectly, it must be filled with that. Like in John 14, 2, when Jesus talks about, my father has many mansions. If it weren't true, I wouldn't tell you that. I wouldn't say that. That's what Jesus is talking about. And, and I go and prepare a place for you. But if I go and prepare a place, I come back and bring you on to myself. Where I am, there you must be also. This is powerful. You're creating the place or the space in your awareness that must be filled with everything you want and desire. But when you ask the questions of why hasn't my life changed, you close that space off. You narrow your perception. You narrow your awareness. These affirmations open it up. They create the place or space to receive everything you want. This is powerful, right? So let's, let's hit it again. Ask formations create a state or feeling of gratitude, or in other words, the awareness that you're already that person you wanna be. You create space or a place within your awareness. They create a feeling of gratitude and conviction. That is, after all, the state or feeling of wish fulfilled. It's not a changing thought and feeling, a changing thought and feeling of the lower mind. It's a state of being of gratitude and conviction, right? In other words, you create a space or a place that must be filled with physical manifested evidence of that unseen reality within. That's powerful. Like in the resurrection of Lazarus, right? They remove or take away the dead thoughts and feelings or state of being ungrateful and uncertainty. When Jesus commands, take away the stone, right? Lazarus is, is lying dead in that, in that tomb, in that cave. And, and Jesus commands, take away the stone. That's what you're doing. You're taking away the stone or the dead thoughts and feelings or state of being ungrateful and uncertain. In other words, you're no longer asking those questions. Why isn't it here? Why are 3D conditions getting worse? Why do I feel so unfulfilled, right? Take away the stone in John 11:39. You create an opening in your awareness to see, perceive, and receive your wish fulfilled. Filled with what? what? Filled with love, filled with gratitude, filled with conviction. You create a space or a place that's now filled with love, gratitude, and conviction of your wish already fulfilled. That's powerful. That now must be reflected and projected as a physical experience in your 3D world, in your 3D experience. So, Asformations, remember, I, I want to be clear here, they don't create or manifest your desired reality, right? Rather, they put your awareness on the unseen reality, the unseen version that's already there, here and now. That's what they do. They create the space and place uh, so you can see, perceive, and receive that new reality that's already there. That's what ask, affirmations do. Just as your question of where is it, why is it it manifests, as it narrows that perception, right? Covers up that space or place of awareness where that reality already is. Do you see that? So God, remember, this whole idea of gratitude, God, God doesn't require your gratitude and conviction to have what you want. It's done, it's yours anyway, no matter what. God doesn't require that. That's for you. So hear it again. God doesn't require your gratitude and conviction to be that person you want to be, to have those things that are already yours. They were given to you. The kingdom is yours. But you do require it. You require it to see it, to experience it, and perceive it as your chosen reality. That's why we're talking about gratitude and conviction. The good news is that's already within you. That gratitude, that conviction, that love, is your, is your uh, core state of being. It's your true essence as I am awareness. I am is absolute gratitude, love, and fulfillment no matter what, right? So, Father, that's why Jesus in John 11, 41, 42, Jesus says this at the, at the tomb of Lazarus. 
Father, I thank you that you have heard me, and I know that you always hear me. But because of the people who are standing by, I said it so that they may believe that you sent me. Very powerful here as Jesus demonstrating the idea that God doesn't require your gratitude or your thanks, but, but because he's already heard you. It's already yours. You are already that person you want to be. And you already have that knowing within. And I know that you always hear me. Jesus knew this. Remember, the Son of God with that source. But because of the people who are standing there, I said it so they may believe. Your I am awareness here is recognizing that eternal, unbroken, invisible link to its unseen source, to the Father, that source, right? The your I am awareness, Jesus, recognizing that unbroken, invisible, eternal link to that unseen source of everything you want. Wow, that's powerful. I thank you that you have heard me. That source, right? And you always, I know that you always hear me. I know that I'm always connected. I know that that, 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 that link is never broken. That, that even if I can't see it, I know you're there. I know it's all there. I know that I exist in all realities, all versions, of, of all potential versions of me exist. That's powerful. But, you, but I said it for the people standing there is that doubt, right? That doubt, doubt that maybe, maybe I, what's happening here? Why am I not seeing it already, right? That's the, this is the affirmation, a confirmation, a recognition that it's already done. This is powerful. Hear it again. Father, I thank you, source. I thank you that you've heard me, and I know that you always hear me. I know I'm always connected. I know everything's already mine. But because of my doubt that's around me, I said it so that, so that I can declare that everything is already mine, that I am one with source. That's powerful today. So, so ask formations are an imaginal act, right? They're an imaginal act that create a space or a place within your I am awareness, right? That's filled with love and gratitude and conviction. It's taking away the stone of ungratefulness and uncertainty. It's filled with gratitude. It's filled with conviction because that's your natural state. That, that's what, when, when, you, when you are still, right? Be still and know I am God. Be still and know I am source of my reality. Then it's filled with gratitude and conviction, right? So, so that inner evidence or proof of fulfillment must then be reflected and projected as a physical manifested reality. It's law. Why am I so loved? Why am I so adored? Why am I so healthy and happy? Why am I so wise? Why, why is money always coming to me? Why do all things always work out for me? Why does that specific person, whoever that is, loves me and adores me and puts me first? Why does everyone, why does the world revolve around me? Wow, that's powerful. That's how ask, ask formations can change your life overnight. And this is what she said when she, uh, re when she reached out last night. And she said she now has a session with me in April. I think it's the third week in April. And she, she, she wants to talk about the things that are unfolding, right? Incredible. She said it was, it's, just been a, it, it's just been a change overnight in my entire life. We're going to talk more about this in coming videos. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on our videos. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, the ambassadors at Be Something Wonderful, uh, at Facebook, at um, facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. Thank you for being part of our Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, our, our TikTok at Be Something Wonderful, and also for being part of the membership channel. Don't forget, a week from this, a week from today, <laughs> we have our third live event to be broadcast exclusively on the Be Something Wonderful membership channel. I'm going to come to you live right here from the studios of Be Something Wonderful in Las Vegas. And I'm going to touch on the, on the questions and the topics that you've been sending to us at info at be something wonderful dot com. So keep sending your topics and questions. I'll also answer some questions live on the chat during the live stream. This is our third live event of this year. 
And so our 12th live event now, more live events coming, but join us. If you're a member of the membership channel, join us. If you're not a member, check out the link below. Creators, with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude. This is Tom here in the studios of Be Something Wonderful in Las Vegas. Until next time, we'll see you soon.